Well, number one is the English. Okay. Of course, I know there are many paddle coaches, but uh, English to understand each other, mm -hmm. they can explain everything. But uh, th then the second of all is the knowledge. They are super educational, know everything. They are very good coaches, I like them. Well, I know they uh, have Mac, and I think it's a very good quality of mm -hmm. uh, the rackets. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't been, uh, I haven't uh, had the chance to try it out, mm -hmm. but just looking at it and seeing them using the racket, it looks very nice. Well, the transition in the beginning, I mean, you get a lot of free stuff from the tennis. You have the volley, you have the smash, but as you develop as a player, you see that more and more it's, it's difficult to switch from tennis to paddle. Uh, come along very well, uh, mm -hmm. especially when we work on the court, uh, all those elements uh, put together mm -hmm. and it's very help helpful. So mm -hmm. now we're going to have a tournament this weekend. I will play with uh, Danny mm -hmm. Dios. So it's going to be nervous, but I think all those elements will be mm -hmm. putting together to develop as a player. Well, I think for more women to play the sport and to achieve their goals, I think they, have, they need to have role models who they can look up to and see that it is possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially now as the uh, sport is growing, it has, I think it has to be more international. Mm -hmm. To Now we have Spain and Argentina, they are huge in uh, paddle. Yeah. But I think now Sweden, France, Australia, Jap J uh, Japan and all the other countries has to come along and uh, to launch to more, for more women to play the sport. Uh, get your friends, uh, get to the nearest pad paddle club and just have fun because it's really super fun. Yeah. It was actually the first time I played it. Mm -hmm. uh, it was back home in Sweden uh, at the tennis club where I work. They had three outdoor courts and I played it first time and I was hooked immediately mm -hmm. because it's so dynamic, it's so fun, it's so social and I said this is it, this is my sport. Uh, for women to give uh, at the professional level is the strength, the power, uh, the physical part of it i think mm. um, so to get more endurance to have a longer shots and to have harder shots to have a smash and so on so i think power mm -hmm. is the biggest thing uh, well this year i plan to play a couple of more world paddle tours last year i only played one so this year hopefully maybe four or five so uh, yeah, just have the ex experience to know what to work on when I come back to paddle trainer to work with, train yeah. with them. And uh, yeah, so that's for this year. Mm -hmm. Well, here it's definitely the atmosphere. I really get the professional feeling when I come here to Spain. Uh, back in Sweden, it's a little bit more social. It's growing, it's at this early stage. And also when I'm here in Spain, it's, it's the knowledge because the hair they have been playing paddle for forever yes. so yeah that's the difference mm -hmm. just just play paddle okay lovely <laughs> that's it. lovely lovely thank you